Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my 18 and 2018 project pan lip edition update number one. So I have been definitely playing and using a lot of these lip products this past month. If you have not seen the intro, I will link it down below where I will share you swatches of all of the lip products that I am about to talk to you guys about. I will not be doing swatches of the lip products that have been in my project, but I will swatch new items coming into the project, if that makes sense. There is one item I am sadly going to declutter, and then I have some progress on some lipsticks that I've been working on, and then I'll share with you guys the other lip products really quick that are still in this project, but I really didn't touch this past month. So, I'm really sad to say... I'm decluttering the Urban Decay Heroin Lipstick. You guys may have saw earlier in January, I was really testing this out and trying it out. Get good use out of this lip product. This is a comfort matte lipstick, and for me, it's really drying. It's um, very kind of complicated to apply. I really find I really need to use a lip brush with it, but that is so much work to use a lip brush with a lipstick, especially a blue lipstick. So I'm just gonna pass this on I did get some good use out of it. Um, you can see I was wearing down the tip. I have a small amount of use right there, but it's just so high maintenance for a blue lipstick. I don't really want to bother with it, so I am sadly going to declutter this lip product out of my collection. Going on to probably my most used lip product for this month was actually a lip balm. This is the RL Linden & Co. La Bomba Rosa lip balm and I got this from a Petite Vore box and I can't roll it up or down so I'm glad I didn't roll it down earlier but this is just a clear lip balm to apply on your lips. It's not like the most hydrating lip balm ever but it's good for like throughout the day and also at nighttime for me. So I've really been wearing this probably the most out of all of these lip products this month. Some days this month I have been putting on full makeup, some days I haven't, but I've been still using this and really liking it. It's just been so cold and dry here. I don't like it. Then guys, YSL Rouge Volup Shine and Purple Ink Untouchable. If you have been with me for a long time, you guys know I've been working on this baby for a while. I used up Coral and Can... No, Coral Incandescent, I think. Um, shade last year and this is the shade I am working on now. I did get some good use out of this thing. This is the lip product I'm wearing now and you can see from there that I have had some good progress on this baby. Really like this one. It's not cruelty free and sometimes it does bleed out of my lip lines but they're really juicy and very pigmented and I will continue to work on this and hopefully use it up this year. And then the other lip products I've been really gravitating towards were all those Bite Mini lipsticks. So I have the product Kimchi. I used this probably once. And it's a bright pink lipstick. And you can see from the paper, I have, wait, is that the correct one? Yeah, I actually used this more than I thought I did. That is the progress right there from the top line to the second line. That is the progress on Kim Chi. Oh, just throwing lipsticks everywhere. Then I really used Pepper. I love Pepper. I would definitely purchase a full size of Pepper once I'm done with all of my lip products and ready to buy full size lip products again. So Bite Beauty Pepper. There is the progress on that on the paper. Then I have a Bite Beauty Fig, which is a little bit more pinky. I really like this shade as well. I will definitely be buying from a Bite Beauty once I finish up figuring out what I want to keep and use up in my project on in my collection. And let's see, Fig is right there. You can tell I had quite a bit of progress and damage on that baby this month. And then the last thing was the Bite Beauty Multi Stick and Cashew. Very small amount of difference. I used this probably once. And this is more of a nudie shade. And yeah, I used it just once. Not too much progress, but progress nonetheless. So that is Bite Beauty Cashew's little lines right there. So those are the products that I really pulled for and was working on this month. 
Now I'll show you guys the other lip products that are still in my collection, but I really, or still in this project, but I really didn't touch. So I have the Too Faced Melted Chocolate um, Liquid, wow, I can't say this, Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. I am still right there. I have the Urban Decay Cream Lipstick. This is the shade Frostbite. This is another blue lipstick. I'm hoping that the cream formula will be easier to apply on my lips and not drag so much. It's just so complicated to do that comfort matte. If you guys have an Urban Decay Comfort Matte in a different shade and find that it's kind of drying and drags on the lips, let me know as well. I don't know if it's because of the blue shade and I'm more like nervous or more precise I guess and where I want to apply it or if that's just all of the comfort mattes in general. Then I have the Tarte lipstick in Set Sail. This is a little deluxe size. Didn't reach for it. I have a Juice Beauty Luminous Liquid or Luminous Lip Crayon in Catalina. And I do think I used this once but not enough I could see progress on the paper. Then I have another lip balm here. This is from Noto. This is the Multi Benetint Eyes, Cheeks, and Lips. I really would just recommend putting on your lips because it does have that peppermint. Um, I actually think there's actual peppermint in here. Yeah, there is peppermint in here, so it kind of tingles. I wouldn't put it on your eyes. Um, and it's one of the roll-up kinds, so I am still down there. Then I have the um, Buxom Lipstick in Pink Decoy. Didn't touch the Modern Minerals Lip Tint, so you can see, didn't touch it. And then I have two Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, one in Dreamer, which is a blue shade, and the other one in Love Sick, so I didn't touch those as well. Oh, and the last item I have like either in my purse or in a jacket somewhere, it's the Smashbox liquid lipstick. I am still using that. I did use it like two or three times this month. But I could not find it for the making of this video, so that is still in this project. For some reason, I feel like I'm, I don't have all my items. The last item was the Urban Decay Meltdown Lip Oil Stick, which is like a makeup remover for your lips. That's in my bathroom downstairs. I'm not going to run down and get it since I'm pretty much done with uh, filming this video. But I will say I am adding in another lip product since I'm decluttering that Urban Decay one. This is from Bite Beauty. This is their... Uh, matte cream a lip crayon in pastille so it looks like a berry shade and that is all of the product in that I'll give you guys a quick swatch of it since it is a newer kind of product to this collection or video I don't know why I keep saying collection and it is really pretty berry color but yeah those are all of the lip products that I am still working on in this project decluttering one let me know if you guys are doing a lip product project pan oh my gosh so many peas um this year as well i love to know and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye